Hello, Ted. Hello, John. I am so excited to do the John Ted Talks number two. Number two in a different format this time. We're going to do this audio only because you are driving safely, I'm sure, with your hands at 10 and 2. Of course, 10 and 2. Wonderful. Driving to uh, Cambridge to see my daughter for the first time at Harvard Law School. Harvard Law School? dad here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes, sir, Lee. That's big time. Um, it is big time, and I'm really proud of her. And, you know, like uh, a lot of dads, you know, I get like kind of those Ks when I, when I, when I text her. How's everything? K. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Know, our class is fine. good. She, you know, oh, fine. Okay. Fine. So it, it's kind of it's fine. It's another big one. It's fine. Uh, or one of my other favorites, why are you texting so much? Why are you texting me? I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> so, but at least that's an answer. Is, at least the good that's news an answer. Is when I'm sitting with her at dinner, she actually talks to me for a couple of minutes. I'm sure yeah. the phone will be on the table and she'll be looking down. But um, it, it, at least no, I then have a. Re I do have, have a, a no to say. Fuel policy. Okay, can you set it aside just the yeah. hour that you give me? No phone, no phones on the table. No phones and no phones at dinner and meals. We we can we can give each other that that time. So you know, talking about dinners and therefore checks and payments and other things, I think we got a good topic for this morning. Well, and talking about Harvard, uh, Harvard alumni dropout, uh, uh, Mr. Zuckerberg. So uh, I don't know if you saw the news this week, but. Uh, you know, Mr. Zuckerberg is working on a, a, a payment system called Libra, and one of the partners, uh, PayPal, dropped out this week. Right, because all of a sudden they said, oh, wow, so these guys are actually potentially a, a um, oh, my God. <laughs> a competitor. <laughs> Thank you, that word, uh, competitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, uh, no, I, I think that's exactly what, you know, there was uh, precious little information about why they actually dropped out, but I, I think that's exactly it. I think they can do the math and, and um, you know, part of the premise of Retail Relevancy, the book that we've been writing for, I think, about half my life now, um, <laughs> is, is the idea that channel payments and media are combining to, to, to create what, what essentially is the new retail. And I'll give you an example that I've talked to you about before. But you know, about a month ago, I bought a pair of Nikes from a Facebook, I mean, I'm sorry, from an Instagram app. And I transacted the entire transaction from within the, the experience on my phone. And it took me about mm, two minutes. And, and first of all, kudos to Nike. It was so well played, it was so well, uh, uh, targeted to me, it, it was a shoe that I already have that I like, and it was a different colorway, which they know I buy multiples of. So Nike has all this first party data about me as a customer because it deals with me directly. And, and I think, you know, it, 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 if Facebook says, hey, you know what, I can just transact that with my own currency, it's just one step easier for me. It's like, it's like ordering, I think you and I were talking about a book the other day, and literally during our conversation, I one-clicked it with, with Amazon. It's like, I don't, right. really don't even have to think about it. And by the way, I don't really care at all how I pay for that. You know, so so if you have a, a transactional system, great, I'll use I'll use that if it's easy, you know? Yeah, and what's what's becoming more interesting is that, you know, one of the reasons, besides the fact that there's all these alternatives to pay with, I think one of the reasons you don't care what you pay with is because now tracking it and knowing where you can expense it to or what you're doing with it has become so much easier as well. So all these things that are being built around these new things. But to hop into a little bit of a segue, and it goes back a little bit to the PayPal, but also to a lot of the people who've been promoting crypto and all the different ways of payment and the things that are happening is what I'm enjoying watching is that all these guys, you know, that jump into crypto, it's the next big thing and they're going to, and they're promoting it and they're doing podcasts on it. I find that a lot of them are unhappy that Facebook's coming into it. And, you know, I look at it regardless of what happens today or tomorrow with Libra and Facebook is that it's a legitimizing 
you know, of, of, of the currency and of the, of the concept and of the platforms. But I see all these people going, oh, no, not Facebook. They shouldn't be allowed. And they're actually somewhat part of the opposition when you think, when you would have thought that they'd be the guys saying, you see, finger in the dam. You can't stop it from happening. It's going to be Facebook. It's going to be Apple. It's going to be Google. So I'm kind of enjoying watching that whole thing play out. And then, you know, hearings in front of Congress and talk about how they, you know, they put the stop on Libra for the time being. And I think that's more fear of Facebook than it is fear of new currencies. But I think they're kind of coming together here. And I, I know yeah, you I, have something to say I, about that. I, well, I, I, would, I would totally agree with you. And I, and, I, and I actually think Apple is already the largest player in crypto. Um, that no one's talking about. So uh, I, I, I don't. Have you gotten the uh, Apple card? The Apple. I, um, I, I, I haven't gotten it yet. I know you've been urging me to, and and mostly because you like me, like you to try out new things. But I'm lucky. I've got my designated experimenter. His name is John <laughs> Andrews, and I, I allow him to do that stuff. And then he explained it to me because I'm not, and I, I'm not saying this. You know, to be self, but John's a little smaller than me when it comes to these kind of things. So I let you play with it. Um, but I probably at some point I'll get it. But I certainly have the ability to pay via my phone, thanks to Apple. You know, using well, I, other forms of payments. Well, well, I think I think what's what's amazing about how smart Apple is actually is so Apple's had their wallet on your phone and watch forever, right? I I right. most of my external transactions like I really dislike POS systems right now that don't have tap because I just like to to pull up my watch and pay with with my Amex or my Bank of America debit card or my Apple uh, card by the way that's the only three three cards I have I don't have anything right. else I, I don't I don't need anything else and actually I, I probably don't really need all of those but but they have different reasons so but but what what occurred to me is when you buy things with the Apple card, you get instant cash back. I don't have to wait for it or anything. I get instant cash back in the form of Apple cash, right? So Apple cash is another payment option that I now have, uh, that everyone now has through their, their, uh, their wallet. Well, Apple cash is crypto. Uh, and, and, right. and the crypto people, no, oh, no, it's not, no, but but it is because it's not a real currency. It's a it's a it's a figment currency. You know, my opinion is all currency is figment currency. <laughs> There's no difference in dollars and and Bitcoin. It's just we believe in dollars a little more. Than we believe in Bitcoin. That's it. But but I think what what happens is uh, is really interesting. So so I think Apple is looking at that whole ecosystem and saying, uh, okay, so I can allow John to transact, um, it, you know, the, the payments part of this thing with however he wants to, T typically my watch or as I'm, if I buy something through Apple. But now that I'm getting him into my crypto, which is Apple Cash, um, I have such an easy way for, for him to play, which could, by the way, that could easily be transferable to Bitcoin or to Litecoin or to BAT tokens, which, which I also use. And, and I, it, it, it is a very subtle, and I think Apple's much smarter than Facebook because it's not out going, hey, we're making a crypto, but it's making a crypto. Here's how it really comes to play. So I was, uh, you, you know, Shan, I just got back from a trip to Dublin and I'm, I'm buying all kinds of things with Apple Cash, you know, hotel room, I mean, my, my Apple card, hotel rooms and, and dinner and whatever. So my, my uh, Apple Cash rewards are adding up pretty quick. I ordered a Lyft uh, when we got back to take us home from the airport and Apple prompted me and said, hey, you know, you got enough money to pay for this in your Apple Cash, do you just want to use that? And I'm like, Oh, I got it. You know, just make it. What, what, what's our, the whole theme of our book? Simplicity is the new everyday low price. It, it is the retail imperative today. Make it easy and they'll do it again and again and again. Yeah, because I don't have and to. And with, with, what they've done is they've wisely turned, uh, uh, created a currency instead of a loyalty point. Sure, because you can use that currency to pay for anything, and you get it 
it's easily understandable because you don't have to translate points into dollars. You recognize it as dollars right away. Yeah, I, I'd be honest with you. I don't, I don't want points. You know, I know we have uh, one, of, one of the early pioneers of, of loyalty programs uh, on, on, our, on our advisory board, a guy named Dave Henry, and he's got helped us build Collective Bias. And, you know, so he's, he's big into loyalty and reward programs. Uh, by the way, I don't care. The only points I ever care about is Delta because I can directly use that to something. Everything else, I have to do too much work. So you know what? Just just uh, Sam Walton me. Just just give me a lower price and I'll, I'll be loyal to you. Or or make I, I actually now just give me less friction and I'll be loyal to you. Well, it's exactly why we have a Delta uh, Northern Express because we don't have to worry about converting. We're just turning our purchases into Delta miles. That, that, that's it. And, and that card is horrendously expensive, except that I get a companion ticket, a free companion ticket and $200 towards any kind of travel fees. And it pays for my global entry and my, um, uh, my, my TSA pre-check. So, so it kind of is a wash in my mind. I think it's right. pretty expensive, no, totally. but, but I get a million billion points every time I buy a Delta ticket using my Delta card. And that's why, that's why I use it because I literally, right. you know, we're going to fly, I don't know, first class to, you know, Vietnam or something next year with those points or whatever. I mean, that, that's, that's valuable to me. A hundred percent. But, you know, just shifting back to the whole Congress and, 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 and Zuckerberg thing, you know, it's, it's, it's finger in the dam. You know, it, it, yep. what, what I'm seeing when I read about this, instead of what I'd like to be seeing is we need to have Mark Zuckerberg here and other smart people so we can figure this out. But instead, at the moment, what we're seeing is we need to have him here so we can regulate and potentially stop them. And, and that's well, like and I, what I, causes us. Go ahead. Well, I, you know, you bring up a good point, and, and I'm sorry, what I was going to add to that is. The, 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 I think misunderstanding, I'd call it arrogance to some point that you could actually stop Bitcoin in some way. Um, first of all, you'd have to know who runs Bitcoin and nobody does. <laughs> and then second of all, yeah, what are you going to do? Turn off the internet too? Like you're not going to ban Bitcoin. Got news for you. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just not going to happen. So, uh, and, and actually there was a, an article I was reading today in 2012, uh, the U.S. actually looked into that, and, and I think they quickly realized that, yeah, that's a fool's errand because it, it, it's, it's impossible. Right. So the, the point I was making, because I think it's it's it, I think it's a good thing for us to end on here, is that it goes beyond whether it's Bitcoin or it's this new thing called the internet or it's whatever it happens to be. Instead of thinking regulation, thinking and I, by the way i'm not saying regulation is bad i think regulation in many areas is quite necessary but what it goes into is how can we wrap our i'd rather see a perspective of how do you how embrace can we wrap these our things arms around how do we embrace it and understand it and therefore be able to protect our populace versus let's just put our thumb down on it and try to hold it down as long as we possibly can because hell yeah. i'll be out of congress before i have to worry about that and it'll be somebody else's problem and you know, well, I it, go ahead, sorry. No, no, that's it. Nope. Well, well, in 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 our world, if you're a retailer, why not understand this? You know, we we had a, an experience where we jumped in a, a cab and in uh, we we went up to Belfast for a couple of days when we were on our our Ireland trip, and of course, you know, they they use sterling instead of euros, and I didn't have any, and the guy says, oh, no problem. Why don't you why don't you just pay me Bitcoin? And I was like, whoa. Like check it out, and and uh, and I ended up paying him actually in PayPal. But you know, here here's a cab driver who's like, well, I don't care, how you pay me, you know, make it easy for you, <laughs> you know, right. you're the customer. So I, I thought that was just such a a, a great, uh, it, it was just a great moment that I thought, yeah, that that needs to be your retail mentality. I don't really care how you pay me. Sam Walton was famous for saying, if you got people standing in your store that want to pay you, take their money. I mean, you know. 100%. John, 
It's been great talking to you. I got to start paying attention because Waze is like shouting at me going, construction here, police over here, time to change your direction, press this button. I got to pay a little more attention to that. Love talking to you, man. Looking forward to next time. Okay, buddy. Have a good trip. Thank you. Bye.